How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at another beer from Stone. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a minute since I uh, reviewed a uh, Stone beer. Um, I forget what was the last one I reviewed, but uh, it's been a while. But um, yeah, don't see much of their new stuff in Alberta. At least uh, the places I go, so um, yeah. Too bad. I really like their beer. So, um, yeah, saw this beer here, and as a big fan of craft beer and a big fan of metal, I had to pick it up as it's <laughs> in collaboration with Metallica. Pretty cool stuff. Only band to have visited all seven continents, pretty sure, including Antarctica, so pretty cool stuff. 5.7% uh, alcohol by volume. This is a Pilsner. Uh, style beer, which I'm guessing a hoppy pilsner. Uh, so uh, yeah, as it is stone. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, it says drink within one day of canning, but um, you know what? Um, you know what? Can't get it that fresh out here in northern Canada. So you know what? I'll have to make do. Uh, yeah, let's get it cracked, poured, and see how it is. Enter Knight Pilsner. There's the can art here. Pretty neat. Definitely looks stonish and uh, metallic y. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, there we go. Pours a nice, slightly hazy, uh, bright yellow kind of color. Uh, looks a lot brighter on the camera that does, than it does in person. Just the lighting in this room right now. Um, yeah, really nice color on it, though. Uh, tons and tons of carbonation, almost like champagne. Uh, finger of a bright white, soapy head. Um, really nice looking Pilsner. So, let's get an aroma off of this guy. Yeah, nice, uh, zesty, citrusy, grassy kind of hops right away. Yeah, that smells great. A nice, slight peppery kind of note. Black pepper, stuff like that. White pepper. Almost uh, reminds me a bit of like coriander. Uh, something like that. Like uh, coriander seed. Uh, there's a nice biscuity, uh, malty kind of character in the background there. Biscuity? No, something else. Um, but yeah, really nice malt profile. I would go more in depth on the malt, but the uh, hops are kind of covering uh, it up, at least on the nose. So, um, let's try it out. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah. That's a delightful beer. Wow. Super crushable. Super light body. Nice bitterness right away. Almost like a slightly floral, uh, almost like dandelion kind of bitterness, you know, that kind of thing. Um, a little bit of like a citrus peel bitterness as well. Really crisp, uh, just, you know, how lagers are. That really crisp, almost sharp kind of carbonation across the tongue. Uh, wicked light, wicked uh, easy drinking. Flavors. Bit of lemon. Hint of lime in there. But yeah, regular Pilsner, you know. There is a nice citrusy, hoppy kind of thing. Uh, almost slightly grapefruity. But for the main part, you get those like uh, grassy, herbal kind of uh, Pilsner, noble hop kind of things, you know. Um, 
nice amount of, uh, yeah, that just really crisp kind of uh, maltiness to it. Just really light, uh, almost like wheat bready kind of malt in the background. Really good. I mean, really, really nice Pilsner. This is something I could drink tons of. Um, I gotta say, uh, this wouldn't be a Pilsner I would be uh, sharing with my buddies for the most part. Like, it might be a little bit too hoppy for them, but you can expect that from a stone beer. It's gonna be hoppy. It's gonna be uh, bitter, you know. Um, but um, <clears throat> this is a perfect Pilsner for a hophead, you know. Um, if you want something nice and light in between double IPAs and whatnot. Excuse me. Wow, really carbonated. But, uh, yeah, if you want a nice crushable beer uh, in between double IPAs and all that, uh, stouts, uh, sour, stuff like this, this would be a great palate cleanser if you're opposed to drinking water, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, really good beer. As for a rating, really good American brewed Pilsner. Um, I go right around 85, 86. Really good stuff. So there we go. Enter night. Uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Usually not a big fan of like uh, beers brewed for bands and stuff. Um, like that awful Iron Maiden beer I had a while back. Did not like it. But uh, this one's pretty good. Um, wouldn't mind trying the behemoth ones either if they're still in production um yeah and uh yeah pretty cool stuff so there we go let me know what y'all think of this beer if you've had it uh any of stone's other beers and uh yeah there we go thanks for watching everybody till the next time cheers